In this video tutorial, we're going to take a look at using Dream Report with OneWare InTouch Edge HMI. Before creating our Dream Report project, we first need to make sure that several configuration options are set in the Edge Studio, and that Dream Report is using the latest InTouch Edge Toolkit DLLs. Dream Report has native communication drivers for Edge historical values, historical alarms and historical events, which Edge logs to a SQL database, as well as a driver for real-time values from the InTouch Edge. Note that Dream Report does not support the proprietary log files in Edge. First, let's check the Edge project's communication settings in the Edge Development Studio. In the more recent versions of Edge, Wonderware only enables the encrypted port for communications. We need to make sure that the unencrypted port is also enabled for communications to the real-time data, if being used. For the logging database settings, click on Options. When configuring the default database, make sure that the time zone used is the local time. And for the alarm history and events, as well as the trend logs, make sure that you're using the database format, which logs to a SQL database, and not the proprietary or binary formats. Now that I've made those changes, let me start running the HMI. With current versions of Edge HMI, we need to use the latest communication toolkits they install. As such, we'll need to copy the latest studio toolkit.dll to the Dream Report system folder. In Windows Explorer, copy this file from the Edge bin folder and paste it to the ODS system folder, replacing the existing DLL. If you skip this step, you'll find that several of the InTouch Edge communication drivers will be missing in Dream Report Studio. We're now ready to create a Dream Report project. Start Dream Report Studio from the desktop icon and create a new project or open an existing project. When Studio opens, the Communication Drivers wizard will open automatically. Expand the Wonderware folder and note the list of InTouch Edge drivers in this list. You'll see several of the drivers with the word legacy in parentheses. These are the versions of the drivers to use if using Edge older than 8.1 Service Pack 2. While we could configure each driver individually, Dream Report has a wizard that lets you specify the path for your Edge application, and then Dream Report does the rest. So I'll pick any of the new drivers, and then click Configure. Click Yes when prompted to discover and configure the drivers from the Edge project configuration. Browse to the Edge project path. Click OK and then click Press to Load Project Config. A list of database logging tables associated with the Edge project will be shown. If a SQL password was being used when configuring the databases in Edge, double-click on the password fields to enter that password. When you click OK, the wizard will close, and the configured drivers will appear in the Define Drivers list. Typically, you'll have drivers configured for real-time values, historical values, historical alarms, and historical events. Click OK to close the communication configuration wizard. At this point, you're ready to create a new report and start configuring objects. Here I'm using the default blank report, so I'll give it a name, set the report generation schedule, and finally set the report file format as PDF. The first object I'll add is an automatic statistic table to summarize a set of analog tags from the Edge Historical Values database. I'll select items from External History Server, select the instance of the InTouch Edge Historical Data Items driver, and then browse the Edge tags. Next, I'll select which statistical functions to include in the table. Once added, I'll set the time period, If the tags had descriptions in Edge, those descriptions would be shown in the Description field in Dream Report. Since they didn't, I'll quickly add a few descriptive labels. Finally, I'll set a few display options. And then format the table as needed on my report. 
Next, I'll add a line chart to my report with a couple of tags from Edge. Again, I'll browse for the Edge tags from the historical data source. Add each one to the chart. Set a time period and format the chart's appearance. Now let's add an alarm table to summarize the alarms that were logged in the Edge Alarms database. I'll need to use the Dream Report Alarm and Event Filter utility to either use the default alarm filter or add additional filters based on various alarm criteria. I'll use the default here. I don't want to show all the alarm fields, so I'll display as an event list to summarize the alarms by number of occurrences. Lastly, let me format the alarm table. The last object I'll place on this report is a real-time value from InTouch Edge. I'll use a single data object on my report. But now I'll choose Dream Report History. From the statistical functions, I'll select Current Value. And then, using the InTouch Edge Real-Time Values driver, select a tag from Edge. Let's grab the current value of the water pressure. Just for fun, I'll add a simple gauge object, reference that value, and then I'm done. I'll do some formatting, add the report name dynamic text object to the header, and then we're ready to generate the report. Let's now save and run the project. When the Runtime Management Console opens, I'll select this report, select the PDF output format, and generate it. And here we see the summary table with the analog tags I selected, summarized over that time period. Below that, we see the line chart with the ramp and pressure tags. The gauge shows the current value of 10 PSI. And finally, we see the alarm table with the last 30 minutes of alarms summarized by number of occurrences. Note that if I rerun this report, we see that the current value of the water pressure has changed to 19. OK, a couple more items of note with reference to the real-time values. We could use Dream Report's built-in data logger to log real-time values from the HMI to our internal database. We go to the Logger Studio and create a new item logging group. I'll set this group to log a few analog tags every 15 seconds. Then we browse for those tags and add them. And set the record rate for every 15 seconds. I can now monitor the connection to the HMI tags to verify that we're getting updates, as we see here. In the project's database settings, we can specify what database to use, and Dream Report will take care of building the database and logging the tags for us when we save this project. And finally, we could use a real-time value as an event trigger for this report. In the report settings, I'll go to the Generate Report on Event tab, then select the water valve from the Edge Real-Time Values driver and look for that tag value going to a value of 1, which will then trigger the report to be generated. For more information and additional how-to videos, please visit our website. Thanks for watching.